first of all, impressions. Um, you know, when you came here, it's hard to believe that it's been since 2017 Purdue hasn't been in the tournament because it used to be an every year automatic mm -hmm. uh, thing. But for this group to get back there, I know you hope it, it makes a deep run, but it's the next step up the ladder, right? Yeah. Um, you know, something, something we talk about and, and think about just like laying it brick by brick, you know, for to, to build this foundation. Um, at the end of the year last year, we uh, we talked about this is what we wanted, right? We wanted a chance to play in March. Uh, Pasco to the locker room is something to do with March, you know, like it just, uh, we wanted an opportunity and uh, our group bought into it. We, we understand our limitations. We're not naive to, to what we have and, and what we don't have, but uh, got a group that's bought into to playing for each other and playing with each other, and um, here we are. You How played you? in this tournament, and Leisha's played in this tournament, but nobody else um, on this roster. How much do you kind of explain what they're in for this week so they, they go in there with a the heads up a little bit? Ah, just go in there and have fun. It's basketball, right? Like, I don't have to get the tape measure out. It's 15 feet to the free throw line, or yeah, 10 feet to the basket. I mean, just roll the ball out there, play basketball, live in the moment, right? This is what you work for. You, you, you know, you, you want to give your, you as a little girl, you grow up and you watch, you know, you're watching March Madness and you're watching upsets and, you know, Cinderella teams or favorites uh, roll through the tournament. You just, this is what you live for. This is what you play for. You, 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 you go through every, every workout in the summer, every early morning grind in the fall, every tough practice in the winter. Um, you, you. You do it to give yourself a chance to play in March. How satisfying is it to get to this point? Because this is what you set out to do. But then again, how do you make sure your group is not satisfied and try to push this thing another step or two? No, that group's competitive enough to know that <laughs> we're going out there to try to win. Um, you know, we're you know we talk about like we're you know we're gonna we're gonna give ourselves a chance to, to play and you know if we're there we might as well try to win. Um, if not, we just stay here and <laughs> enjoy the moment. But this group is competitive. Um, though we got our hands full with the tough St. John's team, uh, but uh, just enjoying the moment right now with, with this group. It's it's fun to be on with them. Uh, it'll be cool to you know see them in practice um, tomorrow. Uh, you know the media day. You know media all those all those things that come along with playing in the NCAA tournament. Uh, but man, guys, no more living on the bubble. This is the same for me. <laughs> <laughs> to go to Columbus, I mean, is this the most ideal thing you can think of with the men playing there Friday? Maybe get a bigger crowd. Obviously, an arena that these girls are familiar with already. I, we would have played anywhere, right? If you told us we would have gone to, you know, Milan, Indiana, and playing that gym, we would have done it. Um, it just, uh, you know, just uh, for our, you know, honestly, for our fans, like hopefully they make a trip out earlier for to see us on Thursday. Um, you know, like I, like I was just telling MC here, like we're gonna be there. We might as well stay as long as we can and uh, give these fans uh, maybe maybe paint Columbus, Ohio, gold and black. Well, have you told the girls about just your experiences playing in the in the term factory? Not, nothing at all. Nothing at all. Um, it, it, this is, it, I mean, it's just it's just basketball, um, and that's the way that we've always approached it. Every once in a while, we go on the road and we're, we're in the morning shoot around, and Abby will say like, "How many did you drop here?" <laughs> um, but but it, you know, it's it's not about anything other than them just rolling the ball out there and helping. What what have you learned about St. John's and any comparison to a team that maybe you played this year? Oh yeah, um, I could do a lot of comparisons. Um, maybe some Syracuse, some Texas A&M, uh, maybe a combo of Illinois and Rutgers. Um, a little bit bigger on the perimeter like Rutgers, uh, but all, better offensively um, like Illinois is. Low possession game, um, they, they play defense, they grind it out, big in gaps long, log on the perimeter, big inside. Um, got a couple bigs that we got to keep off the offensive glass. Got a couple guards that can just flat out get it going and they did against UConn. Um, but, you know, I don't know, first one to 55, 60, I mean, you look at look at the stats and that's kind of what it looks like. So. We'll try to impose our will and push the tempo a little bit, but they're just so good in the half court defensively. Um, and then offensively, they run their stuff really well. And if it breaks down, got a lot of kids that can go get you a bucket. What does the game game plan kind of look like for Thursday? Oh, um, you know, I, I, I think it's that uh, push push tempo. Um, obviously, defensive stops, we want to we try to speed the game up a little bit. They're, they're probably not going to allow that to happen. But if we can get out some get some early transition buckets so we don't have to play against our half court defense, because um, it is really special, um, and then for us, it's gonna—we're gonna have to keep them out of paint. Um, we've got a couple shooters on the perimeter. We got to make sure we know where they are, um, and then you got to keep them out of paint without fouling. They shoot a lot of free throws. So you got to keep them off the free throw line, and then keep their two bigs off the glass. Caitlin Harper has won a conference tournament. Let her team, you know, 
in any other situation would have been an NCAA tournament, but because of, of CBU's situation, didn't get a go. How cool is it to see her come here because she wanted to play in an NCAA tournament and yeah. help you get there? Yeah, really cool. Uh, really cool experience with, with all of our group. Um, you know, to, to experience different, you know, with Caitlin, you know, not having an opportunity to at CB. Um, I told her, I hugged her. I was like, yeah, thanks for choosing us, right? You know, you hug Glacia because she took a fifth year chance to, to get to the NCAA tournament on us. And uh, the moment really I shared with Cass was, was really special because um, who defers med school? Um, who does that? And uh, in, in January, she came up to my office and we were talking. You know, it was after our Penn State loss. And I was like, hey, oh, we're going to write the ship. Um, I'm going to get you to the tournament, and uh, this group is just bought into it, and uh, really, really proud to do it for uh, you got two Indiana All-Stars coming in next year with uh, McKenna and Spider. Mm -hmm. Just kind of, for them to be on that, on the All-Star team, how prestigious is that to put on their resume and yeah. come to your program? Yeah, we talk about all the time, we got to get the best players in the state of Indiana back um, in Purdue jerseys. Um, you know, too many of them have been going elsewhere here lately, and uh, obviously, um, you know, McKenna having Madison here is kind of an easy sell. Uh, worked our tails off with, with, with Rashonda. Um, I, you know, it's unfortunate that she's not going to be wearing the number one jersey, but uh, super proud of them both and cannot wait to, to have um, those two young women on our ball club. What's something that you guys may have struggled with or been inconsistent throughout the season that you're looking to clean up to be successful in the tournament? Oh, gosh. Well, let's see. Take care of the basketball, keep them off the offensive glass, and make all the shots. Because, like, you know, like we work really hard to, to execute on the offensive oh, end. And, Sometimes it's so deflating when we miss open shots. Um, got it. But if we can, we can. I mean, yeah, I feel like we'll play loose. Um, I, I, I feel like you know, there's, you know, for for lack of a better word, in, in a world where I can't gamble, I mean, we're playing with house money. So let's just go out there and play and have fun.